It's tragic. I'm waiting to get to my business just to see how much damage was done. We have live team coverage tonight spanning the entire path of destruction from Pinellas County to Polk as the strength of this storm starts to come into very sharp focus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Gronin for Jameson. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Amazingly, we have not heard of any injuries linked to today's severe weather. And that is the good news. First thing, though, tomorrow we could get a much better sense of just how powerful this tornado was with the National Weather Service heads to Pinellas County to see that damage firsthand. Let's begin at 11 in Pinellas County, where that tornado left behind a trail of damage. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith leads off our team coverage tonight from Pinellas Park. Ryan. And I want to show everyone just how widespread this damage is. Take a look at this. Everywhere you look, you'll find metal siding just like this ripped off of buildings and littering this business park. And the wind so powerful today, it tipped over this semi truck trailer, knocking it into a nearby warehouse. These buildings were full of people. Uh, they were working. It was the end of their ship. Wednesday's powerful storm left little time to prepare. Ran across the building and tried to get to the secure spot, only secure spot in this building. It's tragic. I'm waiting to get to my business just to see how much damage was done. Tonight, Kirk Blosser and so many other small business owners are bracing for yet another setback in 2020. A rare tornado touchdown in Tampa Bay, tearing through buildings and peeling back roofs. It's a big setback. I mean, Hopefully everybody gets together and helps each other out. Pinellas Park PD reports 25 buildings were damaged. And just take a look at how the wind stripped away so much at Catalina Yachts. At only a few blocks away, Corey Roller's truck, well, it's seen better days. Crews eventually flipped it right side up and despite the tornado treating it like a toy, he managed to get his Chevy running once again. They, they need to buy me a new truck, I think. I've, you know, we've had this one in the family for years. So the big takeaway out here in Pinellas Park tonight, amid all this damage, severe, threatening damage, not a single injury. Incredible. Live in Pinellas Park tonight, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.